supercapacitors don't just have a fancy name. Their unique construction allows them to have insanely high capacitance. They store so much energy that you can actually power something with them. Which you can't do with a regular cap. Wikipedia says that they're great for burst mode power delivery, where manufacturers claim that they have a high peak current. This sounds like exactly what we want for our racing drones. So why do we stick with LiPo batteries? I'm Mark from Drone Lab and this is a supercapacitor powered drone. Oh yeah. Just like regular capacitors, supercaps come in many different sizes. We took a couple of really big ones and made this battery pack. It's 7 cell in series, but because of their lower per cell voltage, it roughly matches a 4S LiPo. We mounted this beast on a drone and took it for a spin. Let's see how long can it fly. And we're off to a great start. You can see the voltage dip down a little bit as Paul, our test pilot, punches the throttle at the very beginning. Right turn here, no problems whatsoever. We can celebrate this great flight with a little flip. And we're out of power, so let's just crash here. What a wonderful 10 second flight. So it flies, and the power is there, but the capacity simply isn't. We did it a couple of more times, and 10 seconds is about as far as it can fly. And to be honest, we weren't really surprised, and that's because we did the math. To get to energy, we take the voltage of 2.65 volts squared, times the capacity of 200 farads, divided by 2 and times 7 cells, that's just under 5000 joules which translates to a whopping 1.37 watt-hours. That's roughly as much energy as in this battery here. Which is not a lot for its size. And before you ask, the high current that we got from the supercap wasn't actually higher than what we can get from a LiPo of the same weight. So are supercapacitors just a big scam? Well, no. Their high tolerance to abuse and long lifetime makes them very suitable for some applications, but they just simply won't be flying drones anytime soon. <laughs> so next time someone suggests a super cap on a drone, link them this video and break their hopes and dreams. I hope this video covered this issue for now, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks for watching. A drone might be a bit too much, but can a supercap power a potato? Click here to find out.